I'm getting to the ill stage. So much time. Eating. Yeah. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. Will my heart be in pain later? Yes. Oh, yeah. But is it worth it? 100%. I feel my arteries clogging. 100%. But it's worth it. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Hey, I'm Rillo. I'm here with Cheryl Proctor, and we're about to do the best thing ever today. Try a bunch of fried food at the fair. I'm so excited. Plus, ribs on a stick, everything in between. Drink what we can, get it all, and I hope our gut can take it. I don't know if it can, but we're going to rate it. That way you know what we think of everything that we're going to try here at the fair. 100 years of the Tri-State Fair and Rodeo this year. It's going to be a good time. So let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Bacon wrapped jalapenos, which are bacon. staple. Yes, so absolutely it's amazing. Good or not good? It's looking like some cheese in there. And then Cheryl has the <laughs> bacon wrapped chicken. We're gonna rate them one to four, right? We're channel four, channel four. KM, our local four. So we're gonna rate one to four. I don't even know how to eat this. I'm gonna let you take a big old bite of it. Okay. Okay. It's fun. I'm gonna give it a three, only because I think it's a little salty, which is standard when you're doing like bacon and a batter and chicken and all that. I'm gonna give it a one and a half because it's our first one. <gasps> and so it was good, but I felt like it's chicken. It is good, but it's chicken deep fried. I think yeah. we've been there, done that. So our next one up is the jalapenos covered mm. in bacon, just wrapped beautifully up in there. I'm gonna give this a one, not because it's not good, but it just tastes like big wrap jalapenos. I'm gonna give it a two. I like it a little bit better than the chicken. Um, I'm a huge jalapeno fan though, so I think maybe that's why. It's not bad. It just tastes like every bacon wrap jalapeno you've ever had. Yeah. On to the next. Let's go. We got cheese on a stick and we got these twisted tater tornado twisties. I'm so excited about this. Huge potato fan. Okay. I'm going to give it a one. I know I'm a tough critic. I'm Gordon Ramsay, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say a two and a half. Up next, cheese on a stick. Uh-huh. You know, Lady in the Trampet. What in the world? Okay, hold on. I want you guys to see this. Look at that breading. I'm rating that a three. I'm giving it a three. I like it a lot. I'm going to go straight up four. Okay. It's really good, you guys. It tastes like you deep fry grilled cheese. I love everything about that. It's really good. A chocolate dipped cheesecake on a stick. It's a little sweaty, but so are we, and that's okay. <laughs> um, this is a fried PB and J sandwich. Jeez, it looks like a brick house. Yeah, seriously. This is fried Oreos. I feel like these are classic of the fair. Yes. You need to get the fried Oreos. And these are fried pickles, super traditional. You can get these at other places. So we'll start with the pickles, just yeah. we'll save dessert for last. All right. Pickles, mm. basic, I'm giving it a two. I'm giving it a two, but I appreciate the um, interesting approach to it. So this is literally cheesecake, chocolate, all dip dipped up in there. Do you like it? I like it, I don't love it. I'm gonna say a two. 
I'm gonna also give it a two. Let's go for the PB and J. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. So to me, this is not bland. Mm -mm. It has everything, peanut butter, jelly, the fried aspect of it, really good. Like look at the, like, even the bread on this is like, it's flaky, doughy, crispy. All the good stuff. I'm gonna give this one a three. I give it a four. I could, if you told me, go to the fair, Pick what you want to eat, and you can only get like two things. It'd be cheese on a stick and this. Next up, we got the fried Oreos to I, us. It's like the biggest Oreo I found in To there. Paul Rudd. To Paul Rudd. It's good, man. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Look at that. It's a classic, classic Oreo. I'm gonna give those a three. I'm gonna give the fried Oreos a three. I'm piggybacking on you because you know your stuff. Here's the thing. I feel it starting to rise. Not in a, it's gonna come out, but like I can feel my arteries. They're bursting at the seams. All right, we're gonna try this rib on a stick and then we'll rate it. A solid three. I'm gonna rate this a two. Carol, that's a wrap <sighs> on our guts being messed up today. Oh my Woo! God. I have to be in a digestive position.